um, over the next few weeks, months, whatever it's going to be, I'm going to try and do some upbeat projects that will uh, hopefully keep you entertained, make you laugh, make you cry. <laughs> anyway, it'll be some form of entertainment, I hope. So I put in a previous video, I wanted some ideas about what to do. Um, and I've had a few come through, so it um, could be interesting. So come on, let's have a look. I've made my decision for today, and it's going to be the Exmoor Blades, Exmoor Blades, Exmoor Blades Catapult. So we'll, we'll make this up and make this a little bit, something different with it as well. Got to put some metal in it somewhere, haven't we? Maybe a bit of resin. Let's crack on. Firstly, this is down to Mr. Thorn Warbler for his suggestion. Thank you, buddy. So, and he said it would something simple and elegant, which would complement the kind of the Bronze Age Dirk I've made. Well, I don't know if I can do that, but we'll try. So I'm going to use a piece of antler because we're going to put that something like that with a bit of I don't know, brass in between and something. There we go. So that's where we are at this stage. Anyway, that's where we are now. Roughly done. But as you can see, well, I put a bit of a curve on it. You see that, right? So that's roughly our shape. And this is a piece of you. So that's that stage. Let's move on. Right, so that's it. Roughly sanded. So now, good old fashioned pan sanding. So here we go. Right, so that's now sanded to 2000. So now what I'll do is I'll give this a clean. Um, all I tend to use is a little bit of acetone. Give it a bit of a clean. But you look at the grain and it's, I love you. <laughs> Make of that what you want. So anyway, this piece of you, I'm now gonna clean and then we'll um, give it a first coat and I'll show you what I use. <clears throat> no, I'm not hoarding it before anyone says anything. All I do, 
I mean, I'm no woodworker, but I'll just give it a bit of acetone over there. You can see the, the colour's stunning. Give it a quick wipe over, just like that. Remove any dust. And then, got a magic. Now, the stuff I use. Do, 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 do. I use different stuff for different things, but this is really good for putting um, decent finishes on wood. And it's pretty hard, hence how hard racks oil. And have a look, see what it looks like. I'm a bit excited with this. Are you? <laughs> I'm excited. It's just like that. And then you just spread it on. But already, look at that. <laughs> And you can see, is it the Chateauin, so they call it, don't they, where the light reflects. You'll see better when it's had a few coats, but... So for now, I'll leave that for five minutes. Right. So now at this stage, as you can see, this has all been um, hard waxed oiled, make it look pretty. And I'll end up probably reshaping it anyway, but who cares. And I've been mm. thinking, I'm not doing it that way, that's boring. I'm going to do it that way. So we are going to do that. So how are we going to make that onto there and make it secure? Because obviously it can be under pressure this way, isn't it? Well, I think steel needs to be involved, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do, you've already ahead of me on this one, I swear. We're going to pin it. I'm going to put steel there, steel there, steel there. So then I can make an opening in there and put the key in there as well to make it secure. And then we'll make it pretty. Maybe we'll put a nice piece of brass around there or something like that. Should we carry on with it? All right, let's crack on. Right. As you can see, I've cleaned all these. The stainless steel pins I thought we'd use for that. And then literally, I've got three holes in here. And we'll, we'll epoxy these in and move on to the next stage. All right. So they're in there. I've drilled three holes in here. And of course it was a perfect fit, I'm sure you can imagine. I had to do no fettling with this whatsoever. As you can see, we're pretty much there now. <laughs> yeah, that's not going anywhere. Um, but we've got to do something with that, haven't we? We need something. So let's have a look at what we can do. So I've now cut up my piece there. This, which way is that? That's it, that goes in there like that. I always dry fit everything, obviously. That'll sit in like that. And then I'll shape this around. I've got enough room to do that here. I'll shape this to where I want it. And there we are. Wow. <laughs> so I'll get this glued up. I'm sure you don't want to see that again. And then we'll start messing around shaping it up. is I'm gonna epoxy these in I'll push them right through so then there'll be um, six mil holes and then we can work it from there so let's get this glued up and start there we go so I'll let them dry off and we'll tidy that up <laughs> right, everybody. <laughs> there it is, rough. So all I'm going to do now is just go down through the grits. Get all this sanded up nicely. Look 
at that! And we'll come back and have a look. So I've drilled a 6mm hole, I've got a brass bar in there, hmm. that's all cleaned up and what I'm going to do on this, on the bottom, is I'm going to put a little brass piece on there, because you've probably got an idea what this bit is now. I'm doing so I've uh, epoxied the little pin into there. Right, that's all done. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of epoxy on there. So, there we go. Right, guys, so the idea is this I've made this so you can so that you can hold this like this, like this. You know, there's different ways you can hold it as a catapult, but so that's right handed that way. But also I've made it so you can use it left-handed. And how I've done this is you see my little brass pins, right? That slots through. I mean, I'm not going to set it up properly now, just give you a demo. That slots through, right? And then what I've done, if you'll see, I've made some little springs, which you've seen me do. So what I do then, you then literally put the pin through the spring I've made and you can see it's now locked in put it there there you go just like that so now it's locked in There you go and then if you want to turn it around to left handed you just take this out and put it in that way so there we are the yeah, small blades catapult walking stick combined i don't know let's think of a name for it <laughs>